and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you, and remember I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And so we call them our covenant children. They are the children who receive the sign and seal of the covenant of grace, the sacrament of baptism. And they are recognized as being part of God's covenant community, the church of Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, children were circumcised as a visible sign, marking their inclusion into the covenant community of God's people. Jesus Christ instituted baptism as the New Testament sign. It is not the circumcision of the flesh, but the circumcision of the heart that is anticipated. And by this act of baptism, children become non-commuting members of the church, but members nonetheless. And as they are raised in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, we look forward to the day that they are born again and profess faith in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and become communing members. We will then also share the sacrament of communion. And as we do this act now and anticipate that which is to come, I first ask you, I think here are these questions. Do you acknowledge your child's need for the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? Do you? Do you claim God's covenant promises on his behalf? And do you look in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ for his salvation as you do for your own? Do you? And do you now unreservedly dedicate your child to God and promise to humble reliance <coughs> upon divine grace that you will endeavor to set before him a godly example that you will pray with and for him, that you will teach him the doctrines of our holy religion, that you will strive by all the means of God's appointment to bring him up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Do you? Do we, as a congregation, undertake the responsibility of assisting the parents in the Christian nurture of this child? If so, please say we do. <coughs> then let's pray together. Eternal and gracious God, we give you thanks for your mercy and grace by which we know of forgiveness by your covenant promises. And so we thank you for Andrew and the covenant promises signified and sealed this day. May you grant the inward reality that corresponds to the outward washing. May Andrew be received into the protection and care of Christ and his church. And even as you have been the God of Matt and Carrie, may you be Andrew's God's God. The Lord, we pray that Andrew would be granted the gift of the Holy Spirit for the renewed and regenerate hearts. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Andrew John and Lorenzo, I baptize you in the name of the Father. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now you're one. This is Andrew. Andrew has got two big sisters, Ava and Adam. Adam and Ava. You should definitely pray for Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great family. Matt and Karen feel it's a family, and they are eager to have your support in their lives to be the covenant community that this family needs you to be, that these children might be raised in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, for them to be able to have the gospel opened up to them as they see their church live out those gospel truths together. I invite you to stand and to sing uh, as we welcome Andrew into our midst. Uh, as we do that, those children who are heading out to children's worship can head out now. <laughs> 